welcome back we are looking at volumetric analysis questions and a mold concept form 3 chemistry uh, the question we have reads solution a was made by dissolving 2.5 grams of a metal carbonate with the formula x2co3 in water and diluting the solution to 250 centimeter cubic these volumes are very important. B is 0 0.25 molar solution of hydrochloric acid. Then 20 centimeter cubic portions of solution A were titrated with solution B using methyl orange indicator with the following results. We have not been given the results here. So I want us to use our knowledge to fill up the table then we use those figures from the table to work out the questions below. We have the burette readings. We have the first trial, the second trial, and the third trial. We are going to assume or put our initial volume of the burette to be at 0, 0.0 throughout our three titration experiments. Then, assuming the final burette in the first trial is 16.0, the second one we can assume to be 16.1, and the third one we assume it is 16.0, so that we maintain the accuracy levels. If you take the final minus initial, you are going to get the volume of solution B as 16.0. Then, in uh, the second one, we are going to have 16.1, the third one we are going to have 16.0 and by so doing now we have filled the table correctly following the number of decimal points we have also looked at the accuracy that is the range between our values and by so doing a student is going to get four marks that is if they have a, a that is if the volume we used is accurate. So in any case, that is how a student is supposed to fill this particular table when carrying out volumetric analysis. Once you have been given this table and you have filled it very well, we can now move down and work on the questions. The first part of the question we are supposed to calculate the average volume of solution B. Remember, we have done three titration experiments with the volumes in the first, second, and third indicated. Therefore, to get the average volume of solution B, we take the volume used in the first trial. We add the volume used in the second trial. We add the volume used in the third trial then everything is going to be divided by 3. So if you take 16, you add 16, you add 16.1, you are going to get 48.1. This one gives us 48.1. Then we divide everything by 3. And this one is going to give us, this one is going to give us 16.03 correct to two decimal places next we move on b b part of the question write an equation for the reaction between the carbonate of x and dilute hydrochloric acid very very simple we have X carbonate we are reacting this with dilute hydrochloric acid remember when carbonate react with acids the first thing we are going to get is X chloride which is a salt we are also going to get carbon 4 oxide which is a gas and on top of that we get water water is a liquid to balance the equation we write two behind hcl and two behind x chloride 
for the equation to be balanced. Remember, writing this equation will help us get the mod ratio. And after getting the mod ratio, we will be able to proceed without any big problem. So C, calculate the concentration of solution A in moles per liter and also in grams per liter. In moles per liter, we are supposed to find the molarity. So we can uh, proceed as follows. Roman 1, we are supposed to get the molarity of solution A. Remember, we have been told that solution A is actually a carbonate of X and this solution was made by dissolving 2.65 grams in 250 centimeter cubic. Again, we know we know the molarity of the acid and we have been told that the molarity of the acid is 0 0.25 molar and we are going to start by looking at the moles of hydrochloric acid which will enable us which will enable us get the moles of the carbonate then we proceed we have been told that the molarity of the acid is 0 0.25 and that is the number of moles in one liter which is a thousand and in this case in a thousand we have 0 0.25 what will be contained in the volume that reacted with the carbonate so in 16.03 we are going to have 16.03 multiplied by 0 0.25 everything divided by 1000 and this one is going to give us what if you use the calculator we are going to get the number of moles equivalent to 0.004 moles. Once you have that, we can now be able to get the moles of the carbonate. Moles of X2 CO3 will be equivalent to. If uh, the number of moles of the acid are twice that of the carbonate, it means the number of moles of the carbonate are half those of the acid and this one is going to give us 0 0.02 moles once we have 0 0.02 moles we have now gotten the number of moles of the carbonate and this number of moles are contained in the volume that was used we have been told that uh, 20 centimeter cubic portions of solution A were titrated that means the volume the volume of the carbonate that reacted with 16 centimeter cubic of the acid was actually 20 and therefore we can say this number of moles which is 0 0.002 moles are contained in 20.0 centimeter cubic we need to calculate the number of moles contained in 1000 centimeter cubic in order for us to get the molarity. So in this case, if you take 0 0.002, you multiply by 1000, then you divide by 20. This one is going to give us actually 0 0.1 molar. So this is the molarity of actually the carbonate. And by so doing, we have done the first part, which requires us to calculate the number of moles in one liter, or simply molarity. Then Roman 2, we are told to calculate the number of grams in one liter. We know from the question that uh, 6.25 grams were actually contained in 250 centimeter cubic. So we have been told to calculate the number of grams in one liter. And you know one liter is a thousand centimeter cubic. So this one is going to be cross multiplied so that we get uh, 6.25 
multiplied by 1000 everything divided by 250 and this one gives us 10 uh, 10.6 grams per liter and by so doing now you have done this particular part very very well next that is part d calculate the relative atomic mass of x this one is very simple now before we get the relative atomic mass of x we must get the relative uh, the relative formula mass of the carbonate and remember molarity is usually given by the number of grams in one liter divided by what we call relative formula mass in this case in this case now molarity of the carbonate has been found to be 0 0.1 and this 0 0.1 will be equivalent to the number of grams in one liter which is a uh, 10.6 and we are going to divide this by the relative formula mass so in short in short to get the relative formula mass we simply take the number of grams in one liter we divide by the molarity of 0 0.1 and this one is going to give us 106 106 is the sum of all the elements the sum of the relative atomic masses of all the elements in x carbonate in other words x carbonate would be equated to 106 then we don't have x and this is what we are looking for so we can take x we multiply by 2 we add the relative atomic mass of carbon which is 12 we add that of oxygen which is 16 times 3 giving us 48 and this one will give us 106 so twice x plus 12 added to 48 will be 60 this one will be equal to 106 if 60 goes to the other side, twice x will be equivalent to. You take 60 to the other side, you subtract. It is going to give us 46. And therefore, if you divide both sides by 2, x is going to be equal to 23. And this is actually the relative atomic mass of that particular element, x. And if you are supposed to be... Uh, and if you are asked about the identity of this particular element, it is going to be sodium because sodium is the one that has a relative atomic mass of 23. Thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two and click the subscribe button so that anytime we produce a video like this, you'll be given a notification.